back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about why Erin Williams should be canceled and why I stopped following her after I followed her from her very first video up until like recent, I'd say the last week or two. So if you want the scoop on Erin Williams and why you should stop following her, um, just keep watching. So apparently, since the Micah Stopper case has come out with the whole rehoming situation with Huxley and whatnot, some dirt on Aaron Williams has also come out. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and insert some footage um, now. Okay, it's when he's killed her. Chihuahua. <laughs> Dude, shut up. Go make some rice. Yo, yeah, that's rude. That is rude. I look probably like a squinty Asian right now. What if Andy end up, ends up getting MVP? No one's gonna vote for whoever <laughs> that queer puts up. Then Kansas is already on the dark side because she's already dark, so. <laughs> be careful what you say in the dark, man. I'll be able to see the bitch. Yeah. Long nail, I try and help you. Why you don't have boyfriend? It's because you don't want long nail. <laughs> it's only four dollars more. Aaron winning HOH this week is a really scary thing. I'd say on top of Aaron being a raging bitch, she's very naive and sheltered. And she makes comments that are completely inappropriate where she makes fun of other people for what they look like and their ethnicity. And I think it's gonna hurt her a lot in the game and outside the game. Right. Like not only is she making extremely like racist and derogatory marks against other people, she completely just is unremorseful. And when she's approached and confronted about her race, racial slurs, like this is her answer warn you give you a heads up that some of your words others were interpreting as being racist how do you respond to that being southern is a stereotype and i have said some things that have been taken completely out of context and wrong and i do not mean to ever come off racist i that's not me and i apologize to anyone that i've offended for that we want to point out everyone in the house went in knowing that everything they say, everything they do gets broadcast live on the internet. So when you say the intention was not to hurt anyone, let me just read back a few of the things you said. <laughs> Referring to Candace, you said, be careful what you say in the dark, might not be able to see the bitch. Referring to Helen, you said, shut up, go make some rice. I am referring to Andy, you said, no one's going to vote for whoever that queer puts up. Can you see how those things can be interpreted as racist and as homophobic? I do. I do not remember saying those things. And those things were not meant to be. That was, that was not meant to be serious. And if I said those things, that is, I feel horrible for that. And I regret that. I, I don't even know what else to say about that, but I'm not. So I followed her not knowing that all of this happened. I don't know. I didn't watch Big Brother. I didn't know anything about Big Brother. I just, I was probably too, this was what, like seven, eight years ago. I was probably just too young to follow anything like that. So I didn't know this was happening. It is not just the racial slurs that triggered me to unsubscribe and unfollow Aaron and create content where I feel strongly about the removal of a YouTuber. Let's be honest, Erin has plenty of money. She doesn't need YouTube to be filthy rich and show off everything that she has. And part of that is the reason why I'm creating this video is because there are different YouTubers and vloggers, mommy vloggers that actually start from point A and then they grow from there and they become successful. Um, and I guess, the number one reason that triggered me to make this is throughout the years of being her subscriber and follower and watching her family and her babies be born and her family grow, I've sent her definitely like Instagram messages or comments when of course they were turned on. I wonder why they're not turned on now. But um, I would send her all of these nice messages, whatever, and I've talked to several other YouTubers and other people that have followed and watched her channel and they said the same thing. So they'll send her a message or leave her a comment and back when her comments were turned on it was super canned super like lame sometimes it would just be a thumbs up and i understand if you have like i think she only has 300 and something thousand followers it's 
now, but she used to have 500 and something thousand. Anyway, um, I understand that when you have that many followers, it's hard to touch each and every person. But after years, years of trying to compliment this woman and her family and whatnot, I got zero, zero responses back. And I think what was eye-opening to me is Tiffany Beeston is one of my other favorite mommy vloggers. And I have sent her account lists throughout since she started Instagram messages and comments. And you can tell she like sets aside a day or even an hour a day to be super thoughtful in responding to her subscribers. And that's the number one thing for me. I will follow you if you are grateful and you give back to the people that have made you, if you will. You know, without your subscribers, without the views, without any of that, you wouldn't be successful. And so it's super, super hard to watch Erin Williams not care. She doesn't care about her subscribers. She literally does it for fame. She wants to get products and sponsorships. She wants to get the views. So she, I mean, a lot of people are talking about the exploitation of children. I don't think she does things that are harmful for her kiddos. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below. Um, but I definitely, when it comes to being grateful, that's like the number one thing for me. And she is such a brat. <laughs> she gets big water balloon houses and she gets um, everything for her children. Like those kids literally get ev absolutely everything that they want, need, don't need. They have so much stuff. They don't even know what they have. They go on lavish trips. They go, they have a ranch house. They have SUVs. They have different cars. They have all of these things, which is fine. I know that her husband has his own business and he is successful and that's great. But a lot of it is also through Erin and her content and her content's not bad. It's nicely put together, whatever, but it would be nice if she would do a 50-50 of being able to have their her audience relate to her content versus look what I have, look what I got my kids, look what I've achieved. And it's just, she's not grateful at all. After like five years, six years of trying to like compliment this woman, I came to the realization when Tiffany Beast and I sent her a message recently and she responded back and you could tell it was genuine. And I'm just like, wow, why am I following this woman that is so privileged, who is racist, and she clearly thrives on white privilege, and she's just braggy. She shows everything that she has and all the trips she goes on, and I know there's a lot of families, like YouTube families, that are out there and do that, and I'm, I'm not trying to speak ill of anybody um, or any channel, because if you're succeeding and you're doing it in an organic way, like more power to you. Um, but I'm, I'm just asking that all YouTubers like be humble. Remember who got you to where you are at. And that's something Erin does not do because she feels privileged because she was on TV because she was some kind of like Miss America, if you will. Um, she's done all of these things, had these experiences, traveled to different countries, and she knows she's spoiled and she knows she's gotten away with it. This footage of Big Brother has been out there for years, literally years. I followed this woman. I didn't even know it was out there. Like that could have been my mistake of like being blind to it, but oh God, this whole experience has literally made me rethink what kind of channel I want and how to be grateful for like even the 90 subscribers that I have to try to truly be genuine, authentic, and reach to a different level to make content that is relatable. If you've made it to the top, great, good job. But also bring content to people who work nine to five, who have, who are single moms, who are, you know, make content that people truly want to see. I know people like it's it's a weird phenomena that people want to see all of the lavish things like think of the Kardashians people want to watch them because they're filthy rich and they can do whatever they want and that's kind of how it is with Erin Williams when it comes to YouTube she has this fame and people watch her because they want what she has now I could say the same thing about different youtubers however 
for example, like Tiffany Beeston with Beauty and the Beastons, watch her first video. <laughs> it's not the best video ever. Nobody who starts. Erin Williams, her first video is not good. If you keep going, you get better and you learn the tricks and that you learn the trade of YouTube and you grow. And yes, you can be extremely successful, but Tiffany Beeston, she's made it successful, but she still stays very humble and she makes content that is relatable to several different people. Um, you know, wealthy people, um, not wealthy people, family people, single moms. She makes that content. She, you can tell she's like conscientious about the content she's making and who she wants to reach to. And I could say that about Eliza Adele. She works extremely hard. She lives frugally. Um, she just posted some videos about being debt free. That's incredible. And I just, I cannot believe how many people follow this woman who has made such racial slurs, especially in this day and age, and is not humble and not grateful for what she has. And it's completely obvious that she knows she has it. She knows that when she posts a video that even if she throws a racial slur in there or she, you know, is braggy about certain things that it's going to go under the radar and people are still going to watch her. And it's just truly sickening and sad how privileged she feels. And if you notice, her subscriber count has dropped by like 200,000 in the last month because of the whole Micah Stauffer thing. She had put a comment out there saying, you know, you don't know the whole story. Like this subscriber was just asking her. And keep in mind, this is Erin Williams who doesn't respond to any of her subscribers, Instagram messages, comments. Her comments were turned off, which is extremely shady, but she doesn't respond to any of it. And this one subscriber that has followed her loyally said, hey, she was an African-American subscriber. Can you please touch on the content of Black Lives Matter and the Micah Stauffer case? And in regards to the Micah Stauffer case, she literally put on there, I don't think you know whole, the whole story. Um, feel free to unsubscribe. Um, I just, that blows me away because she knows that if she loses loses a subscriber here or there, it doesn't matter because she can get away. She slides right under the radar with all of her shadiness and she's okay with telling like how disrespectful and rude somebody that's supported you and has helped you get all of these things that you live your lavish lifestyle. Somebody's asking you as somebody that she looks up to, to speak on this matter. And you're like, you don't know the whole story. Feel free to unsubscribe to me. That's so ungrateful. Like I'm a small YouTuber. And every single time I get a new subscriber, I'm just like jumping for joy. Regardless, I only have 90 subscribers. Um, and if you like this video, you should definitely consider subscribing. I would really truly be grateful. Unlike some people, <clears throat> Aaron Williams. Um, I just feel like even in the videos that I posted at the beginning of the video of her and Big Brother, um, she's not sorry until she's exposed and her canned response is I'm Southern and that's just how it is. No, not really. Like I have family in Texas and they would never be like, go make some rice or just, and I know she was on TV, but you just don't do those things, especially if you know that everything you say is going to be on the public eye. And when you're confronted about it, that's the only, you're only sorry because you got called out on it. Sorry, but that's the truth. Um, so like Big Brother and that whole incident happened, but then she was able to, I'm going to start this YouTube channel. And I don't know if she ever referenced back to Big Brother and that's how people watched her because I think she started as Erin Williams after she married her husband, but she was Erin Grease. So I don't know if she grew her channel organically. I, I, I really don't know but I just I cannot I cannot <laughs> I can't believe that certain family channels and certain vloggers and certain whatever they can literally say do and get away with anything and there's a reason Erin has not posted a video since I think a month ago because she knows that people are calling her out on her crap and her racism and I'm like I'm gonna call her out on that sure but it's more so like you are so ungrateful you're such a brat you have everything and you know it and you're the most ungrateful person ever you need to thank each and every one of your subscribers 
that still follow you. Um, hopefully not very many do because I just can't support somebody that is so ungrateful and not humble for what they have whatsoever. She definitely take, 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 takes and gives nothing, not even a comment back to people. And the only time she goes on there and is like, oh, I love you guys. Like, I don't have words to say about what's going on. I know nothing I say is going to be right. Yeah, it's not going to be right because you're an ungrateful brat that doesn't care about your subscribers. And I think to me, that's the most important thing when you do YouTube is you should do it because you love it and it makes you happy. You should be authentic. You should be real. And if you are lucky and blessed enough to get what she had 500 and something thousand subscribers, you need to be like, wow, thank you guys. I wouldn't have this house. I wouldn't have all of these things, these trips, and my kids wouldn't have absolutely everything their heart would desire without you guys. Like, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Be real, be humble and understand that you are where you are because of people. Um, this isn't a video I typically make, but it really hit me hard when, I'm sorry, I'm just kind of at a loss for words. It hit me hard when after like five years of like complimenting her and complimenting her family, you get nothing back. Then you get like two or three other people that have reached out and done the same thing and admired their family. And they're like, wow, thank you so much. I truly appreciate that. Thank you for being my subscriber and caring about my family. Like I'm done with you, Erin. Like I'm done with you. I'm done with your family. I'm done with your fakeness, your racism. And I'm definitely done with how ungrateful you are and not humble to be, or you're not humble at all. And you don't care where you're at because of people who got you there. So, um, I would definitely go ahead and check her out, see what you think. Don't let me persuade you, but check out her channel, Erin Williams, watch some of her videos, her content, and just, you'll see what I mean. She is constantly showing off what she has. She's extremely braggy and just faker than a Barbie. She, that's what she reminds me of. She just looks and sounds and she just, uh, it's even disrespectful to Barbie to say that, to be honest. She's just not grateful, not humble. So if you liked my video today, please give it a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below if you know more about Erin Williams and her shadiness, or if you wanna let me in on other vloggers that are the same way. Cause I mean, I don't wanna like go on rants about how shady and ungrateful people are. But at the same time, I don't want these people profiting off of people who genuinely support them and they really don't give a crap about the people who have got them there. So I definitely want to call people out like that because they don't deserve to be where they are and they don't deserve our loyal following if they're going to be ungrateful and shady. But I'm going to go ahead and stop there. I could rant on all day long. I have more rant videos on my channel. If you go to my playlist, there's some interesting rants there that you can listen to. I also do some cleaning and car detailing. I'm kind of a little mix of everything. So um, I would encourage you to try to check out my playlist. Consider subscribing if you want to. I'd love to have you. Leave me a comment down below and give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.